Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the IWA. And out first is the IWA subscribers champion, King Suzuki, who has a big challenge to face that bloodlust, and that is Noah C. Now, Noah C has, he's gotten the better of King when he actually appeared here, serenity praying him. Then Noah went to talk about how it was nothing personal, but that the Panther's gonna sink his teeth in and King Shirley looks to divide opinions on that. King Shirley wants to get some momentum in. And King Shirley wants to train. Well, you know, be ready. Show Noah, see what he's got. As King enters the ring. That sub's championship, it looks decent. Hopefully we can get a new design on that soon. But now it's King Suzuki's time to speak. Let's hear it, King. Let's hear it. Tonight, I am holding an open challenge for my IWA Subscribers Championship. Anyone who feels that they are worthy, step into the ring and face me one-on-one. -on -one. I want to show Noah C exactly what he is in for at IWA Bloodlust. Oh boy, I know exactly what this theme song is. He wasn't just here for the main. I don't even know if he's officially signed yet, but it's Scorpion. He is back again. Now, some may argue that he didn't look really good during his match with Tommy. But he fought in the main, in his debut in the main event for a championship. And that alone boosts your star power. And now, Scorpion's kicking off the show fighting for a championship, so who knows what could go down here. Scorpion is no choker. He has a very long record of things in his call career everywhere. He may not be signed everywhere anymore, but he's got a long list of accolades. And that can be overwhelming for King Suzuki. Tom Miles, he's got his accolades too. But, you know, he's Hitman, you know. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm humming bored on commentary because I legit do not know what to say. I at least try to keep people entertained, but random stuff just comes out where I have nothing to say at all. But uh, the match is now going to be going underway. Kang in his corner defending against Scorpion from hell. Ring that bell. Oh, and these two just throwing nonsensical strikes at each other. But, oh! And that. That may have just got Scorpion his advantage. Oh no, but Kane kicking his leg. Chop. Oh no, oh no, punch from Scorpion. Elbow to the leg again. Whipping him into the corner. Oh no, but Scorpion elbowing Kane and Oh! Scorpion striking is something to see. He used it against Tom. His striking can take down opponents easily. And oh, nice little move there from Kane. Jumping up and doing a Meteora. After Scorpion decided to lift him up for. Wait, I don't think. Oh! Copyright infringement. Wait, anyway. Yeah, Scorpion didn't lift him up. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be saying here. Oh! Kane got a kick down! Scorpion whipping Kang into the corner. No, Kang kicking Scorpion in his leg. Furious leg kicking in this match. Oh my goodness. Exploder suplex into the corner. No, Kang going up top looking to fly. Like any small guy. Oh no, but he misses his elbow dropping Scorpion. Scorpion's looking to fly too. Oh no, but Kang has got him in top rope spot, ladies and gentlemen. Prepare for the top rope spot and Kang. Oh my goodness. Top rope superplex. Top rope superplex. Sorry, a bit of slobber nearly came out and I had to swallow that. So, no Kang going to the top rope. Oh no, but not quite in range for that double axe handle. 
Oh, and Scorpion kicking him down again. Another strike that could get Scorpion the advantage here. And Scorpion once again using his strikes, trying to wear down King, trying to get some offense in. Dragon screw. An additional kick for good measure. Scorpion not going to let up here. Oh no, but another leg kick as is common in this match. But going for something here, but oh, Scorpion elbows King. Oh my god. Kick, kick, kick. The uh, crap, what do I name these? I, I can't remember, crap. Uh, oh, and a kick to the head. You have the yes kick, you have the it kicks. I don't know what else. Gotta find a good name and Kang a scorpion up. Oh, on the hardest part of the ring. The hardest part of the ring. Scorpion starting to get up here. Kang, oh my god. Oh my god. He caught him with a super kick. From midair. That could steal the deal here, but Scorpion's looking to go to the top. The top rope. Double foot stomp. Double foot stomp. One. Oh, and a check out at two. At two. Jeez Louise. Scorpion once again looking for some kicks. But oh, Kane was one of his own, taking Scorpion down. Oh, and there's that signature as I was singing Zero Signal. One, two, and a kick out from Scorpion. Yikes, but while, while we wait for this, uh, taking your time get up pace thing, uh, a fan attacked Bret Hart, and that was very disrespectful. Like, honestly, I think the ring setup's gonna go here soon, because. You know, it's, it was easy for a fan to get in, but mad props for uh, Travis Brown and Dash Wilder for beating up the fan, and that's all for now. Kang, he's looking to do a flip, my favorite. Oh, my God. Was that a, I think that was a spaceman plancha from the man that WWE forgot. Was it? I think he did that. The only person ever like do that type of flip now and... WWE technically is Ricochet, I think. Haven't seen that. Haven't seen many other people do that move. But Kang, look in the... I don't know what he's doing. Look in the fly! Oh, no! But Scorpion managed to get out of the way in time. He got some breathing room, and now he's going to the top. Oh, no! Kang managed to... The energy these two have right now. Oh my god, going for that finishing move! Oh my god! I still don't know what the name of that is. Status, please tell me. Going for the cover. One, two, oh! And another near fall. These two are showing what they have here in Sc oh, Scorpion. Whips Kang into the corner. What's he doing here? Oh, looking to go up. Scorpion kicking, oh my god, oh, oh, what a bad fall, what a bad fall. That was a horrible fall. But Kang somehow still in this. Scorpion can't believe it. And Kang, showboat in here. Scorpion looking to make a splash into the ring, and oh! Kicking a taunting Kang. Kang's showing a bit of a heelish side here. Oh, Kang, come back. Get him down, get him down again. Oh no, but Kang. Going to the top. Looking for an axe handle, I think, here. But oh my, oh! Scorpion punched him right in the gut. Right in the gut. Scorpion's looking for a move of his own. What was that? What was that? Moving around, doing a clothesline, whatever, still effective. 
Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. I I'm just gonna do it like the yes kicks because the crowd's obviously into it. One, two, and oh my god, Scorpion's not done. As I am looking over to his current bar, he has a finisher. Oh, and a super kick! Super kick! Scorpion going to the top. No, oh, no, but K Kang, what's he? Oh my, oh my god. Oh! This match is horrible in terms of selling, but when it comes to entering action and reversals, it's pretty nice. That, that was a pretty bad glitch right there. That obviously had to hurt Scorpion. Kang looking Scorpion in the eyes, shopping him. Another punch. I know that Scorpion reversed him right there. Scorpion running at him in a drop kick. Kang looking to get Kang in jumping distance. Some things don't make sense, but this is this is like fun, dumb wrestling. And Scorpion missed that move. That could be. Oh my God! That could have cost him right there. The double foot stomp couldn't land. One, two, and still, your subscribers champion. King Suzuki hopefully sending a good message to Noah C after taking all that damage. Alright Strange, go out there, do the best you can. You got it, Steven. You got it. Noah, uh, please don't waste your TV time, you know. That's some TV time I never get. But be sure to use your magical powers because that would be amazing. Imagine the fans' reaction. Yeah, my question is why this is even happening. Like, how did you even get here? Well, uh, be you know what? I'm just gonna go. Enough setback, Strange. Let's go out there. Let's do this. Hopefully, get booked for Bloodlust. Oh, Strange. I hear you are frustrated with your losses, but I have a solution. I'm free of Bloodlust, and you're free of Bloodlust. So I have to say. Let's have a match between us. I mean, I've beaten you once in the hardcore tournament, so who else could I have as my opponent? And not to mention that we both have bad luck here. I mean, you lost to Trevor Phillips and Nina, the first CVBs, and I had two losses to a generic big monster heel, which was one of the most embarrassing moments of not only in my IWA career, but my entire career so far, which I'm also glad he's gone, by the way. And a mistyped guy who's got a catchy theme and a big black goatee. So what do you say, Doc? Fight me, or is it not boiled day going to keep the doctor away? You may have just made a clever pun and you may be a bit bad with your words, but I accept. I need to prove myself somehow, and I won't be afraid to run through you to do it. Now I'll sit back and watch my match and you'll quite understand who you're facing. Uh, currently in our ring is local talent, Jaden Jett. And out comes the Sorcerer Supreme himself. Steven Vincent Strange, you may know him as Doctor Strange. Now, he has had a streak of bad luck. He hasn't won yet on the quick preview, but his win-loss record is still decent, I guess, due to the open challenges he held. He's like 3-4-2 or something. Like three, two, four, two, something like that. But uh, I don't understand why he doesn't use his cloak. That'd be a pretty. I mean, he should. I mean, if I were a sorcerer wrestling, I definitely would use my powers. You're fighting a big monster. Okay, just portal beneath him. He's done. No bones broken. Unlike that fan that attacked Bret Hart, you know, because Travis Brown got in there and yikes. Nonetheless, there is Doctor Strange. And though with his eye of Agamotto. Mm. Mm. No man 
they have a truly good. Yep, that's right. I see his little side things there. So if he comes out with Alistair Black's entrance, he wouldn't be Doctor Strange. He would be Satanist Strange, if I'm correct. Satanist Stephen Strange. Stephen Satanist Strange. Why does the stuff even come out of my mouth? But, uh, Strange with his nice haircut has hopped into the ring. Peering around, uh, probably looking into the future, so I, I don't even know if that's legal here. Technically, that, that's rigging. Then again, all matches are predetermined. The Jaden Jet, ready and set re ready for action basically I was about to make a bad pun thank god I stopped myself and strange with the clothes on stomping away now and kicking him strange looking to prove himself with the win here cause you know how these matches go and oh my god slamming him down back first cause how these matches go you know Local talent never beats the actual stars, so it's probably going to go the same way again. Strange punches Jet. Strange looking to show up that athleticism and an uppercut. Nice little uppercut right there. Strange going to the top, and the top rope splash. But Strange gonna oh and the uppercut sends down local jobber. I I can't even remember this guy's real name. I just said it once. Strange with another uppercut. Punches him. Lifts him up. Uppercut. Pop up uppercut. Strange getting up Jaden here. I'm like, Look, he's got in a submission. The sharp, the sharp shooter, the sharp shooter. Will he tap out? He probably will, and he does. Doctor Strange gets a win under his belt or his eye or whatever. It's really whatever. Now here's the quick replay of how weak this local talent looked against Doctor Strange and how big and mighty Doctor Strange basically looked here. And Bruno 149 is most likely watching this match because, you know, their opponents have blood now. Oh my god, that's Eric Crawford. He's down. And so is his partner in Project Altitude, Chris Sullivan. I think I know exactly what's going on here. Absolutely horrible acts from Rivera and Lombardi. I know that they did this, but a quick note here. Coming up next, TV title, Star-Lord Adrian. Uh, they are already in the ring because of an editing error. But uh, this is an interesting match. You have one half of the IWA Tag Team Champions taking on the television champion. Adrian, Irish whip. Oh no, but oh, Star-Lord get, gets him down. And a nice little punch there to Adrian. Adrian's... And she's in trouble early here. Adrian into the corner and a clothesline from Star Lord. Another punch. Nice little combo there. Oh, but. Oh, getting it. Oh! Kicking him where the sun don't shine. And oh my good. Oh! No! His back landed on his knees and that. That is not. Oh my god! And Star Lord just flew. The small man was going to fly, and he did. Oh, oh, Adrian. Adrian getting in his part of offense here. And Adrian. The small guy's going to fly. Oh, my God. Oh, and a flying fist drop. Aye, aye, aye. Now, Adrian getting up Star-Lord from the outside. Now my con this this uh was this commentary was done early in the morning, so it's not the oh and Adrian leaping over and trust falling on Star Lord. But as as I was saying, my commentary may not be you know good, so that's just a warning. 
and Adrian getting Star Lord in the ring. But no, Star Lord just completely no sold that. And oh, a clothesline. Star getting up Adrian into the corner. Oh, but oh, he's he's getting Adrian up. This is bad news. I know but Adrian going to the top rope. Oh, and a jumping neck breaker from the top. But Adrian's not done yet. Now where's he taking him? Where's he taking him now? Into the corner. Oh, Adrian, tree of woe. And where's he? Oh boy, this is not going to be good. This oh my goodness oh just stomping on him flying double foot stomping what? are you kidding me are you kidding me star lord getting adrian up no these two are champions and they were clearly built for it it seems oh adrian with the chop to star lord but oh star lord hits adrian oh but star lord's going up top adrian jumping me Top rope spot. Oh my, oh my, no, top rope DDT. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Just planting him into the mat. Star Lord into the corner. Adrian with the kick. Two, oh no, but Star Lord. One, two, three. The one, two, three kicks from Star Lord and Cygnus are moving. What's, what's he looking for? Oh my, oh my goodness, he's grinding on his face. That's pretty, uh, not, that's not PG. That's really not PG. But oh my goodness, and Adrian with that signature jumping knee. One, two, oh, and a kick out from Star Lord. Kick out. Hey, Adrian, trying to find out what to do next, contemplating. Adrian, Irish whip. Oh, oh Pele kick. Pele kick the Star Lord. Adrian getting him up again. He's looking for here. He's dragging him into the. Oh boy, sending him to the outside. The Phoenix is gonna take flight. He's gonna do a flip. Oh my! Oh my! No! No! Miss. He missed and robbed me of my dose of flips this episode. Oh, to the jaw. That has to be painful, absolutely painful. Star Lord getting Adrian in the ring now. Going for the cover for good measure. One, two. Oh, and a kick out from Adrian. A kick out. Star Lord kicked Adrian's back. Adrian, he's he still pumped. Clothesline. Another clothesline. Star Lord going for. Oh no. Sweeping him down. Adrian's fired up, looking to go to the top. Can he nail it? And a nice little knee drop off the top rope. It's, oh, Star Lord. Star Lord here. Getting him into the corner. No Adrian whipping up at Star. Oh my goodness. Backflip off him, ducks the clothesline, and another clothesline. And now that was a nice little comeback. Why is he thrusting the air? The air's not your girlfriend. Freaking. Oh, and a kick, kick him in the calf, targeting his leg here, but probably not for long. He's not one of the Andersons. And... Oh, Star Lord. Oh my. Oh! The one, two, three picks again, and he's. Bouncing his nuts on his face again. I don't know what his problem is at all But this is a PG show you need to stop 
Oh wait, Adrian reversed the punch. The uprising. The uprising. Does he have him beat here? Going for the cover. One, two, three. Adrian Elliott holds on to his television championship. That was a pretty valiant effort from Star Lord, but in the end, Adrian stands victorious. And that has to be a strong message to whoever wants to answer his challenge at Bloodlust. But speaking of Bloodlust, Negan, who's fighting SpongeBob and No Holds Barred at Bloodlust, will be going head to head, toe to toe, face to face with Rick Grimes. A good comic rivalry in a Met TV rivalry because, you know, Scott Gimple had to ruin it. But these two have a history, and that should play in to this matchup. We haven't seen Rick Grimes since, uh, I think, before Emergence. Either before or after Emergence. But he has a chance to make a name for himself here tonight. If he can beat Negan, imagine. And... Rick Grimes with his police baton because he's a cop. Uh, well, he's, he's he probably is looking to beat the crap out of me again because I mean, this isn't season nine of The Walking Dead, so basically their characters are like uh, who they were in their prime. Negan season seven, eight. Rick's kind of like Alexandria, right? Uh, Alexandria-ish. Ish. Still wants to do what's right. And out comes the scumbag. The man who took SpongeBob's spot at Emergence in Doctor Strange's open challenge. He sent a masked savior to do the work. And as you... Their match was made official in episode 10 with a low quality reveal. But, uh, yeah. And then in, uh, the, uh, Emergence, uh, host show, or Fallout show, episode 9, these two, Negan and SpongeBob, got into a brawl. Negan laid him out with the baseball bat, who he's probably gonna double Lucille seal because, you know, Negan and his bat. Now, this is sure to be quite the brawl. Negan and Rick, they kind of have the style. But if anyone wants to talk with me about The Walking Dead, though, you know what's been happening, don't be afraid to contact me because I, I've gotten back into the show. Starting with cause seasons, seasons like 7 and 8, they were kind of big hits to the show. Kind of hurt the show because we lost a lot of people and uh, Scott Gimple likes cliffhangers. So, you know, you will usually probably hear me talking trash about Scott Gimple. I just don't like his way of directing. I don't like it, and I hope the Rick movies turn out a success. And run, Dini Ding, and Rick, go oh, oh, tried going out of the gate here. But, oh, Rick reversing with the punch. Another punch, he's not gonna. Started immediately with the strides here. Rick is just... Oh my goodness, he's mauling Negan, but Negan looking for the stop to that. Oh no, but Rick. Oh, Rick elbows Negan. Reversal into a suplex. That was a nice little counter there. Oh, and Rick a kick to Negan's back. Looking to start stomping away, but Negan too fast. Takes Rick down. Negan going for the top. Oh no, I don't know how that managed to hit. But nonetheless, it did some damage. Oh, and an uppercut to Rick. Negan still giving some beat em ups. Striking him still. Negan looking for a suplex. Oh no! Dropping his gut on the top rope. No, I will say though that move's starting to get a bit overused. Oh no, but Negan missed that elbow drop. I don't know what variation that was, but Enric takes Negan down. Negan, Negan to the outside. We, we're about to get a glitch here. 
Oh, and Rick punches Negan down. Oh, what? Yeah, he, he was way off. Oh, and Rick once again trying to make sure Negan gets down with that move. Stomping Lay, teeing off on him. Rick may be willing to take the count out here. Got heads up top. Oh, but Negan punches Rick. Rick was still trying to steady himself on that turnbuckle, and oh my goodness. And a superplex. A nice little superplex. And Negan and Rick in a little counter fest here. And Negan. Oh, one, two. He's beating his chest in four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and Rick drops down to the floor and out comes Negan looking to do more damage oh nobody missed that double axe handle handle and Rick for a third time takes him down with that same move Negan's contemplating what to do punch to Rick Negan's back in and an uppercut Negan getting Rick up again. And over Rick reverses that. Getting him into the corner. And taking him down. Rick going to the top. And he sees Negan right there. Oh no, but Negan. Negan kicked Rick off. He lost his balance. He lost his balance. Oh no, and Negan accidentally <laughs> hits the referee. That signature DDT. I'm going to get that DDT off Wade here. And ne oh, I don't know what he was trying to do there, but Negan, clothesline, second clothesline. Scoop slam. You know, that's what I'm just going to call it. I don't like calling it the power slam. That's what I've always known that move as, scoop slam. Negan's a bit angry at the ref. But then he accidentally lands on Rick. Dangerous man. And Negan. What? He, he's got electric chair suplex. Electric chair suplex. Going for the cover. One. Two. Oh, and Negan's not done. He's not done. Wow, and now he's just gonna he's just gonna taunt. Quentin Credible style. The, the man who didn't kick out of the Krakatoa eruption. Boy, that's going to lead to your downfall. Jackknife powerbomb. They're throwing him down. One, two. Oh my, kick out by Negan. Kick out. Rick trying to he does it that was his finisher I don't think he knows what to do now and Rick a oh, little ducks back body drop Negan towards Rick spine buster no Rick standing tall over Negan but he has to get to the cover and win this match, which I don't think he's going to do. Not right now, anyways. Rick. Oh, no, he went for a punch, but what? Are you kidding me? No, he's copying his move. What a thief. Copying his jackknife powerbomb. Going for the cover. One, two. Oh, and a kick out from Rick. You got to be kidding me. He tried copying his move. Negan looking for a punch, but Rick punching him back. Going for that DDT, hitting it. Things are picking up. And Rick going for the cover, hoping that this does it. One, two, and a kick out from Negan. How did he kick out of that? Two signatures, one finisher to him. And Negan... 
Oh, an uppercut takes down Rick, and Rick rolling to the outside. Negan. Oh no, but Rick punches Negan. No longer in danger. Wait, what's Rick do? Oh, are you kidding me? Attitude adjustment, and he's not done yet. Oh boy. Oh boy. Another one. Another. That's two straight attitude adjustments. However, that's not his finisher. That that's not his finisher. That's Captain America's finisher. The attitude adjustment. One, two. Oh my! Last minute. Last minute. Or last second. At the last second, Negan kicked out. And Negan punching him. Getting him again. Dropping him on the top rope. Negan punching Rick. Oh, and Rick goes down. Negan may have control here. Punching Rick once again. Going for that electric chair suplex, and he's arching. One, two. Oh, oh my god. Negan won. Rick tried kicking out, but in the end, he just couldn't do it. These two fought valiantly, but in the end, Negan is victorious. Now, Negan, what's he looking for now? What's he looking for? Going outside. No! No! Stop this! You already beat him! That's enough! That's enough! And oh, Negan. Ready to strike, and no, it's not the RKO. Negan going, looking for his straight jacket powerbomb. And it connects! Wow, and what? Wait a minute! That's SpongeBob! That's SpongeBob! Last time we saw him, Negan laid him out with the baseball bat. And Negan on the strike once again. Immediately. Come on, SpongeBob. Negan getting SpongeBob up. No, SpongeBob kick the Negan. Lose these press with a bunch of punches. SpongeBob lifting up the apron. He's getting a. What's he? And Negan, he's looking for a weapon too. That'd be my only guess. Now, Negan. And these two are both searching for weapons. Wait, Sp SpongeBob's got a sledgehammer. Negan's got a bat. Oh my goodness. And SpongeBob strikes first. Oh, and Negan elbows Spongebob, however, in a clothesline. Negan's got his bat. But Spongebob too slick, drop kick. Spongebob's got his bat, oh my goodness. Oh no, but Negan looking to take his bat, and Spongebob takes the bat too. Oh my god, oh, charging into him with the bat. He's beating him with his own bat. Are you seer? Payback. Negan looking to stay cautious here. Has to regroup. Watch, oh my god, SpongeBob leaping onto him, not gonna let him escape. Look at the bad blood these two have it with each other. The pure animosity. Spongebob rolling Negan in the ring. Once again, the sledgehammer's coming out. Once again. Oh, and into Negan's gut. I know, I know, badly edited, but Spongebob with an uppercut. We had to use that jump cut for editing. Oh, is this 47 meters down? I don't know. But Butterfly Face Buster and Spongebob looks like he's going to leave here. 
SpongeBob gets his revenge. And that has to feel absolutely sweet. And out comes the IWA Worldwide Champion, Thanos. Not Thanos. Uh, he hasn't been pinned or submitted yet. He, he's kind of undefeated, actually. I just realized that, so that has to put Cap in a lot of trouble. Cap on a mini gauntlet. And then laid out Thanos with two AAs. Thanos is probably not happy about that, which is why he's out here. Bure responds. The Mad Titan. This story is about, it's, it's like David versus Goliath. A man with spirit versus a man with evil. Good versus evil, basically, like your classic tale of that. Never give up versus no mercy. Yeah, that's right, Thanos, just keep walking a little slower. I don't have much more to say. You're gonna make me look like a fool if you don't get in that ring and hurry up. Okay, uh, I'm sorry for my impatience. Uh, Thanos is just taking a while. And uh, yeah, I don't have much else to say, so I'm just gonna stop rambling on. Bam. The lights are back on now. It gives me chills every time because it reminds me of The Undertaker and I've always been a fan of The Undertaker. Let's we'll see what he has to say. Whatever happened, happened last episode. But I promise you, Rogers, I promise you that soon, your downfall is coming. This isn't a story where the hero finds a way to defeat the antagonist. This is far from it. No one in that locker room can stand up to me. Rogers, he said I have to kill you. That you fight until your last breath. Back up your words. Do you want to prove yourself? Do you want to have a chance at all of defeating me? But there's only one way to do it. Last man standing. That's Captain America's music and the crowd pops. As here, he is probably ready to answer his challenge because that's his true character. You ask for him, you're gonna get him. Here comes Steve. Rod was wearing his nice little suit there. He definitely has some momentum. He ran the mini gauntlet and then proceeded to lay out Thanos with two, two AAs. He, he had the strength to lift him. This is possibly Thanos' biggest enemy yet. He's about to channel his inner Roman. Ooh, ah, the big dog. And he's not the first. I think the Punisher does it too. Whatever. Let's hear Captain America's reply to Thanos' challenge. If I have to walk into debt to take your title, knock you off your pedestal and teach you a lesson of respect, I will. I have to stop you from disrespecting some good friends of mine in the back, I will.
If I have to break your undefeated streak and shut you up once and for all and last man standing, I will. I'm stepping up. So you're on. Soon, you will know what it's like to lose. And if you want any chance, any chance of taking me down, you might as well fight another titan. What Thanos possibly mean by that? Oh. My. God. Which other big man uses green for his colors? Oh my god! It's the Hulk! It's the Hulk! He's back! After losing the Subscribers Championship Chamber. And he's fighting an- He's fighting an Avengers ally in Captain America! Are you kidding me? The surprises just keep on coming here. Oh my goodness. Uh, Steve is gonna have a hard time. Hulk wasting no time, probably ready to, he is ready to fight at this point. Now this is sure to be one of those true David and Goliath matches. And I cannot wait to see Captain America and the Hulk square off. This is incredible. This is incredible. Referee, ring that bell. This is gonna be a doozy. Oh, Hulk kicking Cap in the gut. Cap elbowing Hulk. The strikes keep coming, but Hulk headbutt the Cap. Hulk has left. Sorry about that. Hulk has control here. Oh, knee to cap. Another knee to cap. And he. Is he seriously doing a Russian leg sweep? Jeez Louise. Hulk, oh, punching cap. And then. He's bashing his shield like it's nothing. The shield's still together, of course. Of course. But. Just like it's nothing. Hulk getting Cap up. But the Hulk's on the apron this time. Hulk's on the apron. Oh no. Cap gets absolutely shoved. And Cap clotheslines Hulk over the top rope. Now if this were the Royal Rumble, he would have been eliminated. But Cap going high risk. And a flying elbow drop from the top onto the floor. Captain America surprisingly doing well here. Now Cap gonna fly. Oh no! He missed! He missed! That's gonna be costly. Oh, and Holt kicks Cap down. And he starts elbowing his head. Aye, aye, aye. The big man, he's gonna fly! Double axe handle from the middle rope. Oh no, but Cap's starting the fight from underneath here. Holt gets Cap into the corner. Up onto the top. Punch the Cap. Holt just keeps punching away on him. Holt, let's see. The big man's going high risk, oh my goodness. Top rope superplex. Top rope superplex. One, two, oh no, barely even a two count. Barely, and Cap, Cap, he's on a comeback. Oh no, but the whole toss is gap. Oh my, let's see. Oh, Alabama slam! Alabama slam! No, but Cap, he's got Hulk into the corner again. No, but Hulk kicking Cap. No, but Cap needing the Hulk here. Oh my god. Oh my god, with Danielson special! Danielson special! Will the Hulk tap out? Will he submit? Will he submit? 
Can he somehow squirm out of it in the hole? Yes, he does. Oh my goodness. This is clubbing shots to the head. Yee. In the hole. Showcase. Oh my god. He just planted them into the ground. Planted them. With that finishing. I think that's his finishing maneuver. The hole. Gonna respectfully drag Cap to the middle of the ring, making sure there's no rope break. Going for the cover. One, two. Oh my, but Cap kicked out. Cap kicked out. The Hulk can't believe it. Oh no, but the Hulk missed the clothesline. Oh my god. I heard a jump. Wait, what? It, he's got him in the set. He just carried him around like he's nothing. Hey! One, two. Oh, and a kick out from the hole. Cap just was, he was carrying him like he's nothing. But then dropped him with an AA. How, how do you even manage to do that? Cap getting the hook up. Close line. Another close line, Cap. He's trying to, Undermine the size difference. Drop kick. No pass. Getting up the hole here. Looking the oh um, he's lifting him again. Looking to lock in the Danielson special. Looking to lock in the Danielson special. Will the whole cap cap out? Will the not sub Jolly Green Giant submit? No, but the Hulk spinning out and oh, more clubbing shots to the head. Yeesh. Then the Hulk crushing Cap's back. Like he's nothing. Oh, the Hulk with more blows to Cap. Oh, but Cap with an elbow. Cap's not done striking yet. Cap. Face buster to the hole. That's how you wear down a big man. That's how you wear down a big man. And Cap for a third time. Danielson special. Danielson special. Oh no, but Cap let it go. He let it go. He knew the Hulk was going to break out of it and couldn't afford more clubbing shots to the head. Cap, oh my god. He, oh my god. He just powered on the Hulk. No, not this move again. One, two. Oh no. Oh, into the Boston Crab. Boston Crab. Cap just powerbombed Hulk like he's nuts, and that's kind of a theme in this match. Two strong, mighty heroes going head to head, and Cap let that one go. Cap going up top, looking for perhaps a final decisive blow. No, he missed his elbow drop. Oh my god, Cap again lifting them up. Another time, a second time. Going for the cover. One, two. Oh, oh, last second, last second, Cap kicked out. The Hulk's doing some major damage and he's getting angry. He's getting angry, that's not good. Looking to stomp him in. Cap, Louis these press. Louis these press, punching away on the Hulk. Punching away on him. Now putting the boots to him. Oh no, but Cap, knee to the hole. Cap's not done striking yet. He's not done. And the hole with the headbutt takes down Cap. And the hole striking away on Cap. He's not done. Oh no, but Cap. Cap. Oh my. Oh my goodness. The cut outside slam. The Hulk has taken a lot. One AA, three Danielson specials.
Fun power bomb. What just happened? A second AA! A second AA for the cover. One, two, three! Captain America just bested the Hulk. What a fight from that man. What a fight. Wait, no! No, are you kidding me? Thanos! Thanos is attacking Steve from behind. Boo! This is cowardly. This is cowardly. Just This just goes to show how Cap is Thanos' biggest enemy, too. First, he has to resort to turning off the lights to attack Cap. And then he, hold on, it's time for one of my famous phrases. The big man! The big man's gonna fly! But, it, this just goes, anyway, as, as I was saying, this just, just goes to show that Cap is Thanos' biggest enemy yet. He resorts to turning the lights off, and then he attacks Cap from behind. He can even take him face to face like Cap can with him. No, my botching. Yeah. Now Thanos is just tossing Cap around. This is unfair. This is unfair. Now Thanos. Cap into the barricade here. And then smashing him face first. Oh my god, no. No, watch out, Cap! Steal a chair shot to the head. Oh my god, just smacking him with the steel chair. Oh no, but Cap's still fighting. Cap's still fighting. How is he still fighting? Thanos with the headbutt to Cap, though. Then Thanos, where's he taking Cap now? Where's he taking him now? Rolling them right into the ring. This is, oh my good, this is unfair. I do not approve of this. And then Thanos stomping away on Cap. Getting him up. Thanos punching away on Cap, but Cap kick to his gut. Oh no, but the drop kick gonna take down Thanos, but Thanos, he tosses him. Oh my god, he just clubbed him with a gauntlet. He stands tall over Cap.